Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. I am your educator Dr. Lara M. Munir and today into the fascinating world of the respiratory system we are going to talk about hypoxia and cyanosis. Let me give you an outline of how we are going to proceed. We are going to start off by defining what is hypoxia, what are the major players that are important for the adequate oxygenation of the body, what happens in the normal, why is oxygen so much important at the cellular level and what happens if the oxygen is not there for adequate oxygenation, how does the body react and tries to compensate for the absence of the oxygen. Then we are going to uh, discuss the effects of the uh, hypoxia at the level of the brain primarily. We are going to see what happens in acute hypoxia when the cert there is certain uh, cessation of the blood supply or the certain cessation of the oxygen delivery to the central nervous system. Or what happens if someone moves to a high altitude very acutely and does not have enough time to uh, acclimatize himself. <clears throat> The effects of the hypoxia on the central uh, cardiovascular system will be discussed. How does the chemoreceptor reflex arc work? How does it help us in uh, adequately profusing the body? And what happens if the hypoxia is prolonged and uh, how does it can depress the myocardial contractility in the long run? Similarly, we are going to talk about the various causes of hypoxia, whether at the level of the pulmonary system or the respiratory hypoxia or be it outside the respiratory system, the other cause of hypoxia, uh, whether there is any abnormality with the hemoglobin, either structurally or the concentration of the hemoglobin, or there is any cardiac problem that can lead to an inadequate circulation or certain uh, other molecules uh, poisoning like the carbon monoxide poisoning, or whether there is certain just an increased demand of oxygen in certain con uh, conditions like pregnancy what happens uh, in these uh, conditions or what are th these causes of hypoxia. We are going to talk about the bluish discoloration of the skin in terms of cyanosis, either be it a central or a peripheral cyanosis. Uh, the causes of the central cyanosis will be discussed in great detail. Uh, then we are going to move off on the peripheral cyanosis and because it is very important to differentiate the central and the peripheral cyanosis clinically because the causes or the conditions causing both of these are uh, primarily different. <clears throat> then I am going to give you a couple of very helpful mnemonics to remember the causes of the peripheral and the central cyanosis which will uh, help you in differentially diagnosing the two conditions. Afterwards, we are going to see what are the various investigations which we do and how do they help us in making a very good or a clinical uh, diagnosis of the cyanosis, be it a chest x-ray or an ABG or a sepsis or an a, uh, blood CP screen or an echocardiogram which gives us a good indication of what is going on at the cardiac level. Then how do we approach a patient with a cyanosis? What are the various steps uh, involved uh, to clinically differentiate a peripheral and a central cyanosis? What are the various parameters? How do they help us in uh, uh, overall evaluating the condition of the patient? And then at the end of the lecture, we are going to talk about clubbing, which is a very important clinical sign uh, and can give us a very good idea of the underlying problem, be it a respiratory problem or a cardiac problem. And this uh, can also help us in diagnosing a condition and diagnosing an underlying pathology in an asymptomatic patient who has no other uh, primary abnormality. But the clubbing is a good clinical clue to investigate the various systems of what is going on and what is causing this uh, clubbing or a clinical sign. <clears throat> so to watch this complete lecture along with thousands of other medical lecture on uh, various medical uh, content of your choice, uh, be it a basic science content or a advanced science clinical science content, log on to scardia.com and start your free trial today.